hear PGA and LPGA legends, pros, top instructors, and media members from around the country sharing their stories, insights, and playing lessons every week right here on Next on the Tee. Take it away, Chris. And now back with me on the French Lick Resort guest line is the CEO of the Ben Hogan Golf Equipment Company, and that is Scott White. Scott has done an outstanding job bringing one of the most iconic brands in golf back to life. The brand is back on tour as well, being played by J.J. Henry and Mark Brooks. They've got several great lines of irons that you hear me talking about every week here on the show, from their Fort Worth irons to their PTX and new PTX Pro line of irons to their Edge irons, the great line of equalizer wedges and the VKTR hybrid. And now this year, they've added a wonderful line of putters and now a new driver and a fairway wood, which I can't wait to talk about. And I'm very excited to have Scott back with me here on the show again tonight here on Next on the T. Hey, Scott, thanks for joining me again tonight. How are you? Hey, I'm great, Chris. How are you? I'm fantastic. Thank you. So, Good. Scott, we got to get right into it because I am, I am tickled pink in various other colors to hear about the, the driver and the fairway wood. And, uh, boy, I've looked at them online, and the, the GS53 driver looks absolutely spectacular. Talk about what sets that driver apart from what's out there in the rest of the market. Yeah, you know, we're really excited about it as well. I mean, it's a, it's a classic, uh, Hogan look and, uh, and it, it, you know, first and foremost, it, we wanted to make sure it performed as well, if not better than anything else on the marketplace. And, and we accomplished that. But, uh, you know, the, re- the response and the, uh, the opinions that we've received from people who've hit it and tried it, and it's only been on the market now for a week or so, is that it just looks so classic and elegant and, and such, you know, it's, 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 so totally pure Hogan that, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, that, that's what really makes it different. There's nothing that's artificial about it. There's nothing, uh, extraneous. The graphics are really simplified and, um, you know, that, that's what really sets it apart. If you look at, uh, you know, it compared to some of the other products on the marketplace, um, all of which are great. Ours just looks differently and, uh, performs great. So, Scott, I, I saw that the face of the driver has varied thickness to increase the size of the sweet spot, but also helps maximize distance when you hit, you know, on-off center hits, whether you hit it on the toe or hit it on the heel. Talk about the face of the club and how that helps make us hit uh, hit more consistently straight shots. Yeah, you know, it's, it's as you said, it's forged, which is unusual. Um, you know, we, we may be at this point the only uh, driver on the market that has a forged face, and you know, we think that's really important. It, it provides a lot more consistency, um, uh, doesn't have any hot spots or dead spots that, uh, you know, investment cast driver can, uh, can have. Um, but we have our own proprietary, what we call face map. And, uh, you know, that's been done over, over the course of a lot of, uh, computer modeling and, you know, provides, as you said, for varying thicknesses at, different spots across the face. It's certainly, uh, as you would expect, the th- thickest in the center of the club face, but uh, thinner at the edges. And so if uh, you're a player like me who doesn't hit the center of the club face very often, uh, you know, it, it, it minimizes distance loss. Um, it really goes great and sounds great when you hit it in the middle of the club face. But, um, you know, again, if you're off on the toe or the heel, you're not going to lose a lot of distance. So uh, it, it performs great and, and uh, sounds great as well. And then you've also, it's also very adjustable, right? You can change the loft, the lie, the face angle so that it can adjust to help us maximize our performance on, on our current swing. Talk about how easily it is adjustable for those of us who aren't experts in uh, in golf club equipment. Yeah, you know, we looked at a lot of the other um, uh, adjustability features on competitive products, and you know, just found them to be really quite confusing and and uh, and difficult to adjust. And so we developed a pretty simplified process or a simplified design called we call it flight control. And you know, it has it has eight different settings. It's very easy to change and adjust. Uh, you know, the loft goes up or down one degree. Uh, the face angle changes uh, with that with those changes as well, um, as does the lie. And uh, it, you know, it, it's it's very intuitive. It can be done. You know, on on a range or before your round in in you know ten seconds or less. Uh, the, what we, what we really like about it though is that when you make these changes. It doesn't change the grip position or the shaft graphics position. So, 
Um, you know, I've had drivers, I'm sure we've all had drivers where you make changes and all of a sudden everything looks, uh, looks differently when you look down on the club in the playing position. Uh, but this keeps everything centered and keeps the position, again, of the grip and the shaft graphics um, in the way that you had originally aligned it. So uh, it's a great system, really simple and really easy to use. Scott, let's talk a little bit about the fairway woods. And the first thing that struck me when I was viewing some of the uh, the videos online was the low profile that it has, which I like because to me that gives me more confidence. Just you know, when, when I'm looking down at the golf club and seeing a lower pro profile fairway wood, I feel more confident that I'm going to be able to get that ball up in the air more easily. Talk about the construction of the fairway wood and what that looks like. Yeah, uh, you know, that was the, the low profile design was again done on purpose for exactly the reasons you just described. Um, you know, there are a lot of three woods and five woods on the market right now that are, you know, have, have very deep faces and um, probably are designed more to hit the ball off the tee than they are off the fairway. And, uh, you know, we designed the GS53 fairways with the idea that, you know, m first and foremost, they're designed to be hit off turf, uh, whether that be the rough or, or the middle of the fairway. Um, so these are, are uh, steel design, not not titanium, but again, a forged face with a uh, 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 steel body that is joined together through some laser welding and other techniques that are pretty complicated. And, uh, you know, again, very classic, clean and, and elegant design. Um, you know, kind of a, a throwback design in a lot of ways to, uh, you know, to, to, um, you know, the olden days of fairway woods. And, you know, they have the speed slot as, as does the driver and, uh, again, are, are really easy to hit. And, uh, we think kind of a sleeper in our product line. We've had people that just rave about them. And, uh, you know, we've actually outsold fairway woods so, more so than, uh, than drivers, which is, which is great. And you mentioned the speed slot. Talk for a moment about what that is. Yeah, the, the speed slots, uh, you know, kind of a tip of the hat to to Mr. Hogan and and some of the designs that he had when he was manufacturing persimmon woods. It's a uh, you know a notch out on the toe, um, really originally designed to reduce weight, um, but it does have some aerodynamic properties as well. It it uh, it creates more club head speed. Um, and, and, you know, really is something that's been unique to Hogan Woods for, for many, many years. Um, so it's, uh, it's kind of a cool look and, and people, uh, people who see it again or see it for the first time really think that it's, it's something cool and, but it does have some functionality as well. And Scott, you mentioned kind of a, a look back to olden days. And another thing I noticed in your fairway woods is not only do they come in a three and five wood, but they also have a four wood option as well. And that's something I haven't seen in a long time. What made you guys decide to uh, include four wood as an option? Well, you know, four wood was really, uh, you know, Mr. Hogan's go-to club for a long, long time. And um, we were kind of confused as to why people had gotten away from that or other manufacturers have gotten away from that. We had heard a lot about, you know, weak three woods and strong five woods and, you know, at the end of the day, those are basically four woods. And so we asked, you know, ourselves and, and our engineers and designers, what, why don't we just make a four wood? Um, you know, that's, that is designed first and foremost to be that exactly a four wood. So, you know, we've got a three wood that's 14 degrees. The four wood is 16 degrees and the five wood is, you know, traditional 18 degrees. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it, it makes things easier. I mean, now you don't have to worry about a three plus or a five minus or whatever the case may be. This is just a, you know, designed first and foremost to be a four wood. So, um, you know, we've, we've had great response to it. And, and, um, you know, again, it's, it's a little bit of a, of a nod to the way Mr. Hogan approached the game. And Scott, one of the things that I love about the philosophy you guys have promoted out there on your site around these new woods is it's not simply all about power. For most of us, a 300-yard drive just isn't in our bag. We don't, we don't have that shot. The same for a 275-yard three-wood. What we need is accuracy. Talk about how the design of these woods gives us, a, you know, gives us distance, but it also really gives us accuracy as well. 
Yeah, the the, the uh, fairway widths specifically were designed with accuracy in mind first and foremost. Um, you know, they have a, a squared face, is not a closed face or a hook face, which which a lot of other uh, a lot of other manufacturers do for for many different reasons. But you know, our goal was to get you from point A to point B on the golf course as as easily as possible. That doesn't mean that these are short for a uh, short fairway woods by any stretch of the imagination but uh, you know they're they're as you said earlier designed first to inspire confidence um, you know get the ball up in the air very easily um, you know have have very uh, uh, tight bulge and roll tolerances um, which will bring the ball back into play if you if you hit it out over the fairway or or excuse me over into the rough um, but they're again really designed first and foremost to be played from the fairway and not off the tee. They do work well off the tee, but they're, you know, they're designed for an intended purpose. They're, they're not drivers and they're not, um, you know, they're, they're, they're not long irons. They're, they're meant to have serve a specific purpose. And, and, you know, we looked at the history of fairway woods and decided, Hey, this is what, you know, this is the way that the game is meant to be played. It's the way Mr. Hogan played it. And, um, you know, that was our, you know, defining mission when we set out to develop the GS-53 fairway woods. Scott, just a couple more before we let you go. And you, you mentioned going from point A to point B. For those folks who weren't with us the last time you joined me, talk about the new putter line and how the design of those faces are forged and CNC milled and the different uh, the, the different options you have available in the, in the putter line as well. We introduced the... Uh, Precision milled forged putters about mm, probably two months ago now, and and have had had you know great reaction to them. Um, as as with everything we do at Ben Hogan, these are forged putters, um, not investment casts, so they have a a very unique feel to them, uh, much more solid, much more consistent. And uh, you know we developed not a not a really deep product line. You know we don't intend or, or want to be the you know the the number one putter in golf or uh, but we really developed these for real Hogan aficionados, people that wanted a, a full bag of, of Hogan equipment in their, um, you know, in their bags. So we have um, three blade designs, pretty traditional, pretty, uh, uh, pretty normal looking uh, um, designs, uh, but all are diamond black, uh, the uh, the diamond black milled finish, and then one mallet as well. So they're, uh, you know, they're 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 great looking. Great performing, great feeling. Um, you know, they're at a at a great price as well as as always because of our factory direct business model. And um, you know, they're 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 fantastic products. I mean, we're really excited about it. And more importantly, uh, you know, our golfers or people who are are, are Hogan folks uh, have have really a, a adopted them as well. Scott, you've also got some great accessories, like some very cool Ben Hogan head covers. So for the Ben Hogan enthusiasts, talk about the accessories that you guys have available online at BenHoganGolf.com. Yeah, the, you know, we have a very, very loyal following. Um, you know, people who, who play our products typically want to show that off in some way, shape, or form. So, you know, we've got some great bags, carry bags. The BH1 carry bag is, um, you know, has won a bunch of awards for its simplicity and, and utility. Um, you know, we've got a line of uh, umbrellas and uh, high end, uh, really uh, great tour inspired towels, um, some travel gear. You know, it's not a very deep line, um, but again, it's for that person who is really proud of the fact that they play Ben Hogan products and, um, and, and wants to carry that, uh, you know, that feeling, you know, to and on the golf course. Um, so all of these are authentic as, as we call them and, and really meant to, um, you know, to, to help, help the game, help them play their, their best golf when they're uh, traveling to and from the golf course. Scott, before we let you go, remind our listeners how they can stay up to date with all the great things that you guys are coming out with, order the product and all those sorts of things, both online and then follow you guys on social media as well. Yeah, the be the best thing to do, quite honestly, is to go to our website, BenHoganGolf.com. We spend uh, a lot of time in keeping it up to date and are constantly adding new video and new content. So, um 
I would urge people to to visit that uh, often and as frequently as possible. And you know, there's some cool links there to our uh, to join our email database and and uh, and join follow us on social media as well. We're we're really active on on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. So uh, that would be the best the best way to do it. Well, Scott, I can't thank you enough for taking time out of your busy schedule to come back and be a part of the show. I'm very excited, as always, about the, the things that you are doing, the Ben Hogan golf equipment from your irons to your to the new putters and obviously the equalizer wedges as well. All fantastic stuff and uh, very excited about the driver and the fairway woods as well. But I uh, can't thank you enough for your time and sharing the information. Look forward to uh, hearing about all the great things you guys are doing again, I'm sure, very soon. Great. Thanks for having me, Chris. Good to talk to you again. All right. Take care, Scott. All the best to you and your family. You too. Goodbye. That is Scott White. He is the CEO of the Ben Hogan Golf Equipment Company, BenHoganGolf.com. Folks, the GS53 driver, first of all, looks fantastic. I'm looking forward to getting uh, an opportunity to hit that. But I'm telling you, these fairway woods look absolutely spectacular. I love the low profile that they have. It's a lot of confidence. I feel really good about the opportunity probably to get that ball consistently up in the air. So we're not scooping it and hitting it bad and all that sort of stuff. So looking forward to hitting that as well. So check them both out online again, benhogangolf.com.